If you hadn't have guessed, today we are playing No Man's Sky! Hello Games massive hype train epic. Is it all hype? Is it all train? I don't know, we're going to go in and find out. I've played a couple of minutes of this already just to make sure that it was worth our effort and I'm, I'm starting to think that yes, it is. You can see around the outside we've got all sorts of stars being named there. I'm not sure if those are star systems that have already been found or not. I don't know, We're, I am like raw to this game, uh, it has been out for about two hours now and about an hour and a half I've spent downloading the game because as you all know I have the best internet out there. I have found myself on a beautifully cold planet which you know is amazing. I keep hearing something that reminds me of stilt striders off in the distance but here we are at my crash site. Uh, we've got this thing here, which I believe is my spaceship. I know it's my spaceship. If we press and hold E, everything in this game is about pressing and holding. That is my first, like, uh, impression of what goes on here. I'm used to games where you just click. No, that is not good enough. It turns out console users are used to pressing and hold stuff. Who, who would have guessed? Uh, bits of my ship are broken. In fact, the only bit of my ship that is left broken is the uh, launch thrusters. Uh... You know, we just need to go and find some stuff. If we press tab and get into the inventory, we can see that the launch thrusters up here require... Uh, well, we have one of four carbite sheets. Uh, how much more do we have to do? So we press E and we need to go out and gather a whole load of resources. That's fine. Iron is our thing. Uh, can we reactivate this? Yes, we can. Let's uh, boot that up. Wow, wow, wow. Reality seems to fold in on itself. One moment I can see debris. Another, a vast red orb. Almost too large and too bright to behold. Looks like a bit of a fancy disco ball to me. Um, it, it's, I'm not really getting the whole twisting dimensional space from that animation over there. I, I don't know about you, you guys. But anyway, it's called Atlas and it wants to offer me some help. I'm going to take your help after like a second of pressing and holding the button. Uh, cool, it approves. I'm glad you approve, as you seem to have made yourself, made your way into my brain. Uh, so we need some stuff. And where do we find stuff? Well, just kind of randomly everywhere, to be honest. Uh, so this here, this is a, a living thing, as you can tell. It's got a carbon isotope in it, and if we shoot the hell out of it with my mining laser, you know, as you do with most living things, we get to pick up a load of the bright red carbon. Because, you know, that's, that's what colour carbon comes in at. You can also do the same to trees, that, that's pretty cool. Obviously a much larger return from that. Uh, the carbon is an isotope, which I think is kind of a classification in the game. You see this is an isotope element, so is this uh, therium, uh, this is a silica element. I, I don't think they've quite got that right, but anyway. Uh, you use these in your life support, or anyway, I'll just charge this, life support, good. Or in your multi-tool, your multi-tool does a whole load of stuff. My mining beam in particular is also charged off the carbon. So you've got to make sure you charge up your mining beam before you get, uh, sorry, you've got to make sure you get carbon before you completely run down your mining beam. Uh, if you look on my top right, I've got that little percentage diamond thing. I think that's how much charge I've got in my mining beam, but don't hold me to that. Okay, this is my jetpack great oh wow a little bit of a start there. i've had one or two stutters throughout the game so far They're almost like minecraft-esque where i don't know exactly what's going on but something seems to be making me stutter this thing just requires blowing up in very small amounts the longer you hold it down the less efficient it appears to be you see that every time i'm hitting here i'm getting returns whereas if i just hold it i've got to wait seconds for returns so i'm just gonna do it like this i'll be back once i've destroyed this Oh wow, it takes a while to do these. Oh, hello Mr. Sentinel, how are you doing there? I think we might just leave this alone for a little bit. These guys kind of act act like the police. If I just uh, pump that, and you see up on the top right, I've got these little square bits that almost look like uh, the stars in GTA. Well, they almost function exactly like the stars. If I was to just like go hell for leather on this guy, I'd get one of those little boxes there and he would start firing lasers at me and all sorts of bad things would happen but he seems pretty happy with me just blowing up the rocks uh there are various other elements around can we spot any um no there's these iron nodes as we've been seeing and there's also some blue stuff around called like hardite really really um imaginative names okay so down here we've got so, some of the other forms of resources uh, unfortunately I've, no I haven't been here recently so this one we can get some Tharium this 
as another isotope. You can use it to power your stuff, as previously discovered. And this actually gives out zinc, which is used for, like, thermal protection and stuff like that. Which I could do with some, but it doesn't appear to be charged, which is unfortunate. Okay, let's go get to... Oh, hello. Did you guys see that flash over there? I saw it flash. Quite rude, really, out here in the middle of the cold. Uh, this, if we spin around, it should give us a little readout. No, it's not... Okay, maybe, maybe we can't use it. Okay, this should have been one of the platinum plants, another silicate plant, but it's not going to let us do that, unfortunately. The thermal protection is falling low. I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. I'm hoping jumping into our ship will be our saving grace there. Uh, let's go find out. Oh, in fact, before we get in there, what is this? Atlas Pass Level 1 required. I do not have the Atlas Pass Level 1. Cargo drop. My inventory's full. Let's get inside my ship. Okay, in here, where, where's my inventory? This is this is my starship inventory. We actually want my exosuit in inventory. So you can see up here we've got exosuit, starship, multi-tool. It's nice and easy to get around. Uh, we're stacking iron. Of course we're stacking iron. Uh, the hazard protection has gone up to 100%. Oh, I love that, actually. That's good. That's cool. Uh, so we can transfer it over to the ship. We're press the X. That's pretty cool. I'm going to do the same with the iron, even though we're probably going to end up turning the vast majority of it into these cardite sheets. Carite? Car car carrot? I don't know. Whatever it's supposed to be. Uh, how many of these do we want? I know we need a few. Press and hold the buttons. That's the one we need to do. Uh, so we need two more. Okay, we can do that. Press for E. Press for actually confirming. Uh, right click out of there. Wow. The control system, it's a little janky. If you just remember that you're supposed to be playing on a control pad, it works a little bit better. Okay, we've done all those. Let us repair that. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, that that is a mission complete. Love it. Love it. Thrusters critically damaged. No, they're not. Not anymore. Don't tell me that. Press E to exit. Let's get out there and see what At um, Atlas has to say. Atlas, anything to say? No? Nothing Nothing to say. How do I get a list of objectives? Is this going to be in here? Uh, journey? Is it my journey? Uh, no, these are all the stats. I have travelled some t distance on foot. Ah, I see. I see. All right, well, we'll take a good look through all this at some point. Well, obviously, Atlas doesn't want to talk to me anymore, but I'm having a look down here, and we can see charge equipment with plutonium. I think we can do that. Photon cannon. Press this to activate. How do I activate it? No? No, am I not allowed to do that? Oh, that's, that's a shame. Okay, press to charge. Uh, I do not have any plutonium. Where are we going to go find plutonium? Well, actually... I ain't got the foggiest, bruv. So I think what we're going to have to do is go out and have a bit of a walk around and see what we can find. Uh, I reckon we go up high. Up high seems like a... Hey, hey. There's a lot of uh, sentinels around here all of a sudden. But yeah, I reckon we go up high, see what we can spot. If we see anything in the distance, particularly these like plants and plant-like materials, I will get back to you and show... Oh, look, platinum. Show you new things. Platinum and zinc. Well, there's something weird to look at. Not just this thing here, which is the uh, hard eye or whatever it was that I was trying to expo Ooh, explain beforehand. But also other things like this. Look at this. A knowledge stone. What is a knowledge stone? I've never found one of these. You have learned the Gek word for give. Who are the Gek? Are, we, are the Gek the people we're on planet with? Is this, is this the, their, uh, in, uh, is there an intelligent race around? I hope so, because I seem to be struggling. Oh, wow. Uh, shut up, machine. I was coming over to show you what happens when we mine this stuff, but what are these? They look like something crazy I made in Spore one day. Oh, man. Uh, can we interact? Hey. No, come here. I'm your friend. I'm your fr friends? Friends? Hey. Uh, feed. They they took some stuff off of me. Hey, I got I got a smiley face. I got this is just like Spore. What? <laughs> Don't, couldn't you come up with like new new graphics and stuff? I don't know. All right, what what did it actually take off of me when I did that? Hey, no, no. Look, this guy likes me. Why don't you like me? Yeah, you. Uh, it's the Hardarium. So they they're drawn by this Hardarium. Hardarium. I I hate trying to pronounce stuff. Look this way. Hello. What are you trying to show me? Hi. Oh. Substance interactive. Radexon. Rad Radnox. Thank you. Thank you so much for showing that to me. I made a friend. I think I've made a couple of friends. What, what have you got to show me? Look, you... Uh, did, did did you just poo that out? Did you? Oh, I am so impressed. Well, oh, what? No. 
We will not accept that. Uh, let's get to the excess, uh, exosuit. Like, we don't need this. This has been here for too long. Uh, what else can we send away? Like, the platinum. So, by pressing and holding X, I send stuff from my exosuit over to my starship. I don't know the wonders of, like, quantum entanglement that has to happen to make this actually work. But, you know, that that's what I'm... Titanium? What? That was something different. Okay, well, how do I deal with that? That's where I came from. Okay, I don't think I'm going to, um, like, mine all of that stuff. Emeril. Wow, there's so much stuff here. Oh, look, this, this is what, also what I came over here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to cut that down because, well, I've already got a load of that stuff and I've been using it to feed them people over there. Yes, they're people. Don't argue with me. Uh, what have we got? Where is he? This. What is this? It looks to be surrounded by lush grass, so that's that's going to be a good, right? It's got to be good. Is it warm here? 27 degrees? Damaged machinery. Let's have a look. Hi. The uh, cannon damage tau. The photon damage uh, cannon companion unit. Wow. I need a lot of stuff to build that. Okay, that's good though. So, ooh. You want me to see? Oh, hey. You guys want me to see stuff again? What is this? What is this? Platinum. Ah, oh, I can't. I'm looking for plutonium, guys. If you could, just um, plutonium. How, how do I how do I get them to do stuff that I need? Anyway, when I figured out a few more things, I will be back. There is a new color thing ahead of us. What could it possibly? <gasps> it's a different ship. It's a it's a different ship. Is this a person's ship? Like, look at this. This is exactly set up like my ship over that way. Oh oh oh! What was that red thing? You see that? What was that? What's that trying to say? No? No? What? Where? There's something... Some, ow! Ow! Don't use your jetpack in a long burst, guys. There's something somewhere trying to grab my attention, but I don't know what it is or where. No, I'm very confused. I'm very, very confused. What is that? What is that? Okay, let's try and sort out some thermal protection if I can. I'm not sure if I can. Uh, has a protection. Uh, I've got some titanium. We'll use that and some zinc. We'll use that. Brilliant. Awesome. Top job. Can I raid this guy's stuff? I've got a deflection enhancement feeder. That's pretty cool. That's sweet. What have we got over here? That's an atlas chamber. Is, is that what we call them now? Debris. Yeah. Gex distress beacon. I clamber into the cargo ship and find its black box. As soon as I touch the holographic image of a panicked reptilian trader appears. Perhaps it is a message for their superior, perhaps a loved one. It is impossible to tell as the playback is hauntingly silent. In its final moments, the trader seems to point at some freshly installed ship tech before dropping to its knees in despair. Do we search for cargo and inspect recently installed ship tech? I'm going to go with that one. Poorly installed tech that caused the crash. I scan the blueprint and can now conduct it myself. Construct Phase beam. A spacecraft laser device, which I can build with all the stuff that I've gone. Spacefaring beam weapon and asteroid mining tool. Ooh. User advanced. Yeah, cool. Okay, I'm going to just kind of back off because there's a thing over there. Okay, what, what about this? Anything to, to search up here? We can't get into the Atlas passcode one. Uh, what is this? Cargo drop neutral. A Gek Charm. I wonder what that does. Charm some Gex, I hope. What is this, though? This is what we need to... Ah, uh, it's iron. I don't want iron. I'm looking for gold. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We will grab that on the way back out. Just, I'm desperately trying to find some plutonium. It's in the cave the place to be. What's that? What is that? Let's go and have a look. I mean, you'd think the glowing green stuff would be the ones to go for, right? But no. I suppose plutonium is... Is it blue? Is it blue? Okay, so that's not a... Ah, put myself down gently. That was not something I could go and uh, harvest. And it's not something I could mine either. I don't like that. That's uh, non-interactive stuff. Let's try and get around here and see what we can do. Carbon. I mean, it's nice. It's tasty. It helps run my stuff, but it's not what I'm after. What is this? Plutonium! Burn it! Burn it with whatever passes for fire! Oh, don't tell me my inventory's full. We will deal with this. We can't put that in the heat protection. Okay, let's get rid of the iron. The emeril. 
the Gek Charm, the Radnox. Okay, I think that's I think that's good. All right, so we're looking for purple, no red. Sorry, red crystals. Uh, there were some back this way. Destroy! Oh wow, it takes a lot to destroy. Oh man, doubled what I needed. Okay, well let's carry on in the uh, the classic way of scraping the landscape clear of any useful materials. I mean, there's no way that's going to backfire on me, right? Ah, ah! This, is this thing attacking me? Helplessly lost in a cave. Helplessly lost in a cave with possibly hostile bugs. I'm getting out of here. I'm a little bit scared. Uh, I'm just going to go back the way I came. Please go away. Oh, it hurt me. Oh, it hurt. It hurt a lot. Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, so, is can we fire it like that? Okay, the mining laser doesn't appear to do much. Run, run, run for your life. Jetpack depleted, wait for it to recharge. No, I want to just go. Please, please don't make me stop. I just want to go. There, there are things that are out to get me. And I don't really want to try and take them on until I get some better weaponry. Better weaponry is needed. Okay, cool. Is this the way out? Please tell me this is the way out. They're cute and all, but they do look like they could kill me. Um, what's... Is that way out? I feel like that way. Is that... Oh, man. I am hopelessly lost. Hopelessly, hopelessly lost. Uh, grab this. Ooh. We got a new journey milestone. I should imagine it's for aimless walking around. Because, oh, yep, there we go. I have travelled that far. Because I am lost. So lost under the caves. If anybody knows how to find their way out of the caves, please do let me know. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me. For this beautiful adventure to find plutonium, I will see you next time where hopefully I would have found at least the entrance to this cave system. And we will go and do what it says in the bottom right of my screen right now. Go and recharge the thrusters.